Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez back again. We're going to do one more installment of the Red River Paper Testing with third party inks. What do I have here? 17 inch wide rolls of Polar Luster by Red River. And what better printer to test this on but the P800 with my roll adapter. I am using Precision Colors PCK3 HD inks and it's working out wonderfully. Normally I have to resort to creating a custom profile rather than using the profile from Red River which is made and intended to be used with OEM inks rather than any other third-party inks. The fact that it might be close is kind of a crapshoot and it depends on the situation and how well matched that ink set is to the original ink set. Now, guess what I was able to do? I downloaded the equivalent paper profile for the P800 from Red River and I began to print on that paper and get these results. I have what appears to me visually here perfectly neutral, perfectly neutral and linear all the way across. The colors are correct. I want to eat those berries. Look at that sunset. Unbelievable. And the kids faces are just perfect. I don't see any bluish shadows like you normally often see when using a third party source. So can I improve this further by creating a profile of my own? More than likely. Will this pass the muster? Will this pass? Will you be perfectly satisfied with this ink set, this paper, and Red River's own profile? Absolutely. And so I proceeded to continue to print some sh more shots. I just loaded a bunch of images on the roll and proceeded to print them. Just made a big layout. Ice cubes and some sort of um, wine or something of that type and it looks gorgeous. My of course sunset that looks fabulous and the hourglass you've seen this one before and again it just looks gorgeous. Here's that heck of a uh, difficult image to print and again just gorgeous. I have a sublimation aluminum print of that by the way and here is our super difficult image to print and again it did an amazing job just so vibrant it's just ridiculous and again PCK3 HD pigment inks for the P800 you've seen this one before if you've been watching my series you know these images already I decided to do one of my favorites the lone tree in the prairie and it is perfectly neutral so again, like I said, can I improve upon this by creating a custom profile? Well, possibly, possibly. What could be improved upon? Well, maybe the tonal gradations. Uh, I don't see how I could improve on color reproduction because it is just, at this point, about as good as it's going to get. So that happens to be a perfect combination for that particular paper. Again, Red River's Polar Luster. And here's a big one that I did just because I could and again just gorgeous I don't even know if I can hold it correctly here for you I'll just cover my face you rather look at the uh, sunset anyway so that is it for now we'll be doing probably I have some sheet material the same paper I'll go ahead and try it on the Pro 100 and of course the Pro 10 with precision color inks and see how that performs. And again, this is all about using third party inks since I don't have anything else at this point other than precision colors handy. I do have some cone, I have a tons of that. And I also have a bit of uh, ink out that I can use in the 2880. We'll do separate videos. It's gonna be kind of a hodgepodge of videos but again you should be able to just simply go to the playlist locate the combination that you want to check out and go ahead and view it and you will see the results that I am getting and if I needed to make a profile you will see that as well all right that is it for now thank you so much 
as always continue to watch this series i have a lot more to report on so thank you again don't forget to subscribe share and like as always happy printing everybody bye bye